Hero Future Energies Private Limited. It carries an illustrious legacy of Hero Group, one of the most respected business conglomerates in the country. HFE was established in 2012 as a deliberate strategic decision by the group to enter the high growth market of power generation from clean and renewable sources of energy. Today, HFE is one of India's leading independent power products producers with operating plants in wind, grid-connected solar, and rooftop solar and is backed by the marquee investors such as International Finance Corporation, Mazdar. Its current portfolio includes a 1.7 GW of commission, wind and solar portfolio. The company is ambitious about tapping into the incredible opportunities that lie in both domestic and overseas markets as well as new technologies, namely storage, green hydrogen and hybrid projects, etc. It plans to build a robust portfolio of 5 gigawatts of installed capacity in five countries across Europe, South Asia and Southeast Asia by 2025. We have Mr. Vijayanand, the head HSC and sustainability at Hero Future Energies Private Limited, completed his post graduation in environmental management from FIR, Forest Research Institute University, graduation in environmental and water management, post graduation diploma certificate in industrial safety, environment law from National Law School and ISO. Greenhouse Gases Lead Auditor, having 18 years of experience as HSE head and consulted working for various complex projects such as Airtel, Cargill, Walmart, Hindustan Coca-Cola, and achieved prestigious awards like FICCI Safety Award, Golden Peacock Award for the Occupational Safety, which is the first position. I would like to request Mr. Vijayanan to please come forward to speak on behalf of his company. Uh, good afternoon, everyone or good morning rather. My name is Vijayanand. And I'm uh, first would like to thank GSS uh, committee for giving this opportunity and giving this award to us. So, so uh, I think everyone is aware about the hero group and uh, our uh, founder, Mr. BL Munjal. And he has this uh, philosophy that we don't have to dream if you can't, if we can't fulfill our dream. So, uh, right from the 1956, when this company was set up, uh, in 2012, Hero Future Energy was uh, actually established to for uh, as an IPP in renewable sector. And in 2017, uh, between 2017 and 19, IFC and Mazdar uh, invested in, as a in, in equity. And we have other group companies you are well aware of, Hero Automotive, Rockman, and the Hero FinCorp Electronics. And then we have uh, NGOs, non-profit organizations, BL, uh, BL Munjal University and uh, Raman Kant Munjal Foundation. And uh, last year, we also got this award of great place to work. And uh, uh, this is uh, apl applicable till January 23rd. So if we talk about our portfolio, it's a mix of wind and solar. And uh, we are into Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, and Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. So we are total 1.7 gigawatt of uh, operating assets. And there are uh, around uh, 1 gigawatt of uh, under pipeline. Internationally, we are a, a London registered company now, and we have a uh, established unit in Ukraine. Uh, we are working on a project right now in Bangladesh also, a solar project. And there is another wind project that we are working in Vietnam. And uh, we have an office in Singapore for Southeast Asia market as well. So when we talk about the uh, health safety environment, uh, we have set best of the standards for ourselves. And uh, sorry. And we are like uh, co committed for best of the practice in occupational health and safety, non on, not only for our employees and workers, but also for community and the area where we are operating. So there's a lot of focus for us on the community safety and their health as well. So uh, 
other than like adopting safe work procedure, preventing injury, health, etc. So the work that we are doing for our own workforce is one part, but the, we are also equally uh, respo uh, uh, responsible for the health, safety, and the development of the community where we are operating. So our policy, our ESMS, this is called Environment Social Management System, and uh, this has been developed in the best of the good practices across the world and IFC's uh, uh, performance standard and guidelines. And our management is committed to provide support and full assistance to for the implementation of HSE policies. So we also believe in uh, uh, having a very sustainable operation. So if you'll see our three key pillars for sustainability is we want to be a climate positive, people positive, and water positive company. So we identify the emission hotspot in our complete supply chain. And by identification, we also take wall to reduce and help this supplier to improve their sustainability performance and make it in line with our sustainability goals and aspirations. We also working with our suppliers to improve our energy efficiency of every raw material that we procure across the globe. And we, day-to-day -day engagement is happening with our employees to you know, make them aware of our, how we can reduce emissions, especially since we are in renewable space, so there is no process emission for us. But yes, in business travel and workplace uh, commute, we have to reduce emission. Regarding people positive, we are having a very uh, robust work culture where everyone is responsible for their own work. Uh, we are working in, uh, since COVID, we are working in a hybrid mode and we have taken decision to work in a hybrid mode uh, till further notice. So everyone is working on their own goal. The, uh, the, the focus is uh, uh, less on wo work hours rather than work deliverables. And we are continuously work with the skill development right from the work, uh, worker level to the corporate level. Everyone is involved into this uh, training, skill development, everyone. And we can proudly say that, that in, uh, since inception, we have zero fatality as a company. And only one, uh, uh, there is no reportable loss time injury also for the last 10 years. Uh, in order to become water positive, we have uh, water consumption for cleaning of water, mod uh, this uh, uh, solar modules. But we are also adapting uh, robotic dry cleaning for all of new our, our new projects. But in the uh, already uh, established project where this uh, feasibility is not there to have a, a, a robotic dry cleaning due to this uh, tracker type, so we also have taken care of having developing this in situ rainwater harvesting so that our net we become water positive. So we thought that rather than talking about this uh, employee and work safety, we'll talk about the things that we have done for the community safety. And it's a, it's a story about one of our unit. This is called uh, Clean Wind Power Ratlam. This is a 100 megawatt uh, wind power project. Uh, 50 turbines of 2 megawatt each. So when we were doing this project in 2015, there was no setback criteria defined by um, uh, ministry at that time. Rather, uh, after that, I think guideline of 150 meter has come up. So to define this criteria of setback, we actually did, uh, did a dedicated QRA uh, ass assessment, and we defined this setback distance, if I remember correctly, is 220 meter, depending on the machine size and the blade throw cap, uh, 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 chances, etc. And we did a very uh, robust village profile survey, how many villages or the settlement is falling under this 220 meter uh, radius, and which are the households which are likely to be impacted, not only for this setback, uh, due to the setback uh, distance, but also for shadow flicker and noise uh, impact also. On the basis of that, we created a, a relocation resettlement uh, plan 
for all WTG's location, and we can say proudly that till uh, now each and every households are relocated to a far off location with their consent, with proper uh, uh, new houses built, new land given, etc. And the shadow flicker noise impact uh, uh, assessment on the basis of that, we created a, a mitigation strategy and we have implemented uh, the them like we provided them with curtain on because there's uh, those area is very poor and the houses were not like proper uh, windows were near door somewhere you know doors are open there is no uh, close there's no mechanism to close that so we provided curtains we created baffle structure and we also did a research plantation which can help in reducing the noise uh, impact to the receptors and also we inform them what at what time each household is in, uh, expected to receive this uh, flickering effect so that they can remain inside or they can use this curtain other than other than that time they can leave this curtain aside so they get sunlight and all we also worked to skill development we create uh, established uh, skill centers asa centers for ladies uh, and uh, we, I think three or four water ATMs are uh, uh, constructed around the project area. We also worked with them to create, uh, to establish check dams. And this has increased the water availability during dry season. And we also provided in solar street lights in a lot of uh, localities in association with this uh, Ramakant Mujal Foundation. During this uh, uh, worker safety, uh, we have uh, actually, we have digitized all our operations. So uh, starting from incident management, work permit and MIS system, everything is digitized. It's an in-house created tool. So any incident happening at any site across India, they have to report within the defined time period. And they, uh, like this, uh, they, they, there's a, uh, place to uh, tell about the incident that has happened. On the basis of that, the future course of action is decided by the HSC team, whether incident investigation has to be done, whether fishbone analysis has to be done, or viva analysis has to be done. The main benefit of this is like, unless until we do a very, very categorical assessment of the incident or accidents which is happening or near misses are happening, we cannot work on the, uh, towards stopping them. So this has helped, a lot, helped us a lot. So you can see uh, they populate it, we take action, we close it. Kappa, RCA, everything is done within this tool. Uh, and this, uh, this is a tool for work, on, work to permit. Everything is automated. So uh, for every work to be done, work permit is uh, given. It's online, works on a mobile, uh, mobile uh, phone also, so that they can work on it right on the field not to come back to office and just, you know, spend time on the paper, etc. So photo can be attached, the conditions can be uh, witnessed, and on the basis of that, this, uh, the site person who is sitting on the office can also approve this work permit. And this saves a lot of time for us. I think I completed well within time. Thank you very much.